Hey everybody, today we're getting into linear regression. So we've been looking at scatter plots, and in particular talking about scatter plots where we seem to have some sort of linear relationship between the variables. In other words, as x gets bigger, y tends to get bigger or smaller at a constant rate. And we can talk like this when we have a very tight relationship, like in the graphs at the left, as well as when things are more cloudy, like on the right. If we draw a line over the graph in an intelligent way, we'll call that the line of best fit or regression line. Let's get into the math of it a little bit. So the key idea is a notion of residuals. So we draw a line over our data and we pick a specific x value. We look at the difference between the y value in the data set and the y value on the line, sort of actual height minus predicted height. So we call that the residual. If we do that for every point in our data set, um, we take the residual, the actual minus the expected, we square it, we add that up among all the points in our data set, we get a quantity that we can minimize. We can do that using calculus, and that'll give us the equation of a least squared regression line. It turns out that that line passes through x bar, y bar, where x bar is the sample mean for the x's and y bar is the sample mean for the y's. And that least squared regression line is going to have slope r sy over sx, where r is the coefficient of correlation, sy is the standard deviation of the y values, and sx is the standard deviation of the x values. So overall, we have an equation for a least squared regression line given here on the bottom. It's kind of a pain to calculate. Here's um, data that corresponds to that scatter plot we had a few slides ago. And um, if we calculate means and standard deviations, we get x bars 5.4, y bars 2.4, and so on. The coefficient of correlation is about 0.34, so a moderate, moderately weak um, positive correlation. We can plug in all those values. We get that the equation of the least squared regression line is 0.19x plus 1.34. Now, all these values are a real pain to calculate by hand. I definitely recommend using technology to do these, um, in particular R. Here's what that line looks like. Looks like a pretty reasonable fit to this data. 